Hello everyone, it's Adachi Format and welcome to a new The Sims 4 Speedbuild house building video. So today I'm building a Cambodian house which is something you would maybe not expect me to build since uh, yeah, Cambodia is just not a very known, well known country and um, just in case you don't know where it's located, um, here in this map in the left upper side you see the Netherlands and then right like in the middle at the right side you see a Cambodia in Asia in case you didn't know but I think many of you did actually know where it was located but just in case but um, normally I build very modern luxurious houses but this time I'm actually building a Cambodian house on stilts and that is because I just got back from a two week trip to Cambodia from probably some of you already knew about that since I actually pre-recorded many videos for you and I told you that I would actually go there uh, in those videos um, but yeah I actually got back yesterday morning after a 27 hour trip um, because I had like plane layovers and uh, like very long well not delays but just very long layovers very long flights um, but I'm back and I actually wanted to build a um, yeah a Cambodian house um, so yeah some information about the trip actually I didn't just go there for holiday I actually went there to visit several projects as well um, kind of to help Cambodia to develop into a better country or at least for as far as I could actually um, help um, because as some of you might know Cambodia was hit during a war which was only 30 years um, ago and uh, during that war one fourth of the entire population so three million people died and that makes that uh, Cambodia is actually a very poor country I believe one of the poorest in the entire um, Asia continent but um, therefore a group uh, from my school including myself actually went there trying to help the people a bit and actually also to learn about the ways in which people live there because personally as you know I live in the Netherlands which is like one of the richest countries in the world and very western like and um, for us it's actually also good to know um, what uh, circumstances other people actually live in um, because we're actually uh, used to quite a luxurious life in um, yeah, the Netherlands which is just very well developed um, so in Cambodia me and a group um, also helped with the construction of, an, of a house so we didn't only uh, like visit projects and uh, yeah look there but we also really helped with the construction of a house and that really inspired me to build this house on stilts which um, in case you wonder is a very typical Cambodian house uh, as I said Cambodia is very poor and uh, the houses aren't very good many houses are built on these stilts uh, just to protect them from uh, floods and um, yeah the good houses are uh, built using corrugated iron or at least that's what I believe it's called I'm not sure I had to look it up in Google uh, translate but anyways um, those are like the better houses and this one is kind of meant to be uh, like such a house uh, which is just a little bit better it's still definitely not luxurious but it's one of the better houses and you'll still see that it's really not that fancy um, uh, so yeah, I've decided to um, yeah build a house in The Sims 4 like that one, uh, simply because I thought it would actually turn out to look pretty cool. Because um, those other houses would maybe look a little bit too crappy actually to build, which might not sound that nice to say, but yeah, in the end, I also want to have kind of a good looking house, of course, um, for you to download because you will be able to download this from the gallery. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, as I said, this is not a house like I normally build, I'm not luxurious, not maybe not that beautiful, but it is actually realistic and I saw it with my own eyes that this is really what the houses look like there. Um, so therefore I decided to uh, build it. Um, so yeah, I also, by the way, um, maybe you uh, want to see some pictures from my trip uh to Cambodia so I've actually made an Instagram account uh like I already had a Facebook and Twitter and uh, I now also have an Instagram account because I personally really like that um yeah social media website which I also use for myself but I'm not sharing that one I'm actually uh, sharing my like I've made a Dutch Sims for master Insta account uh, and on there I actually uploaded very many well very many some pictures of my trip to Cambodia I'll, um yeah upload other pictures as well other pictures of my trips whatever it is and um yeah you can follow me there i'll actually maybe follow several people back who follow me so 
just go there follow me it would be awesome currently i have like not very many followers actually but um yeah if you would follow me it would be great because in that way you know i i really like instagram uh, instagram and i hope to upload like some nice pictures on there here you actually see my account on the screen right now um but anyways um yeah that's actually it i've also recorded quite many videos on my iphone while i was there so i was kind of planning on maybe making a short video about it for this channel or maybe for another channel which i don't have yet so then i'd have to make another channel but um yeah i was planning on kind of doing it in the style of jack's gap slash casey neistat or at least for as far as I can actually do that because their videos are so much better than I would ever be able to create maybe but you know I could try to make something like that um, but um, yeah if you'd like to see that please let me know because then I will actually put some more efforts into making such a video and uh, by the way I also have a question for iPhone users because what's the best way to transfer photos and uh, videos to a Windows PC because um, also without losing uh, the quality of the photos and the videos because uh, I tried to use Dropbox but it didn't really work out for me so if you have any idea how I could possibly uh, transfer it better um, that would be awesome because in that way I might actually be able to um, yeah, make a cool video out of it um, but yeah that's kind of um, yeah, some things I wanted to ask you or tell you um, so yeah Cambodia is actually uh, a really cool beautiful country uh, very many rice fields there um, uh, so yeah that's also why I actually decided to create it you currently see me doing that or at least I'm not actually creating rice fields but I'm trying to create like crop fields um, to make it look a little bit more realistic and to make it look a little bit more Cambodian because yeah crop fields is just really what you see as well but also very many rice fields incredibly many palm trees actually like if you follow my or if you've been following my channel for like a long time you know that I really like to use very many palm trees in my houses and actually this is a house which has very many palm trees as well but the reason is because in Cambodia you simply see, uh, see, see very many palm trees and um, yeah therefore I decided to uh, make palm trees or add those to this house as well um, we actually now start with the interior which is only one room uh, and as you can see it's not very big and um, in Cambodia people actually live under their house or at least their living room for as far as you can actually call their living room is under their house simply because it's a very warm climate it's just very hot there and uh, there are like some very hard rainstorms which they have to protect themselves from but therefore they live under the house often with like you know between the stilts they actually have a hammock um, which the chill in kind of and then up in like the indoor area they actually have like beds uh, also the the bathroom or the kitchen is actually often under the house and then the bathroom is inside the house which you also see here or at least I'm building the bathroom like in a few seconds I guess um, so yeah as I said the interior is very small people often live in such a house or at least a family will build a house for um, which we did in Cambodia uh, four people would actually live in a house as big as this um, and yeah that's kind of hard to imagine actually because that that house was actually just as big as my room uh, like my bedroom here in the Netherlands and there they have to live with the four like four people there so um, but the house we built was actually kind of a luxurious house um, if you talk about Cambodian houses they li used to live in like a much crappier house actually so they were very happy with it which was awesome to see but um yeah this is just kind of also to yeah make you learn a little bit about other cultures and countries i thought you'd maybe like that if you'd like me to build other um like country styled or houses um styled in like the type of a certain country uh, which was a terrible sentence but anyways um if you'd like me to do that please let me know because then i'll be able to build like a spanish house a mexican house which would be kind of the same looking i guess an italian house and a uh, typical new york house a, a cambodian a thailand house whatever uh, so um yeah by the way here you see the screenshots of the house which i think in the end really turned out to look very realistic or really the way um the houses look like there but anyways um if you'd like me to see um 
if you would like me to build the houses I just talked about, uh, please let me know because then I might actually start that series. Also, please let me know what you thought of this video. Um, I hope you actually enjoyed it. It was a little bit different than what I normally do. I talked about the country and my trip. Um, but um, yeah, also it's a very simple house and so normally I build much fancier, more luxurious houses. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you back later.